Okay, so today we are going to draw a coniferous tree or a um, evergreen tree, a tree that keeps its needles all winter long. And there's lots of different types. I'm going to go for one that's kind of a pine tree. So I want you to not think Christmas tree. That's the trick. Christmas trees, while they are pine trees usually, and uh, evergreen trees, they're usually a little too perfect. Okay, so um, like the deciduous tree, I start coniferous tree with a quick taper at the bottom. I'm going to start a little bit smaller because I want to make sure and end this tree on the page. Okay, so as this tree comes up, it's going to be mostly straight, and I'm going to run this clear to the top, but I'm going to give it a little bit of curve here and there. Yeah, this will come kind of to a point up here. And at some point, I'm going to let this have a second top. If you've ever hunted for a Christmas tree, like I did growing up. Whenever we thought we had found a perfect Christmas tree, it always had more than one top, and that's the way most trees are in nature, and most evergreen trees, they're going to have at least two tops, and I like to do that. Maybe let's give it a third top here. Okay, so this is just the trunk clear up to the top, the major stem of the tree. Okay, there's going to be lots of branches that come out of this. Um, and so, something I noticed quite recently in my life is that trees, evergreen trees, don't all... I mean, they're different from how you would think. For instance, these branches up here near the top point almost straight up. They're trying to reach the light. And they get longer and longer as it comes down. These are newer branches near the top. So as they get longer, and I'm going to have some branches coming out of the secondary stem here. Um, but as they get longer, they get heavier. They're carrying a lot more needles, none of which are shown yet. We're going to draw the needles later. But, like I said, as they get longer, they're going to get heavier. And as they get heavier, they start to curve down. Okay, so the weight of that branch is a little bit harder to keep that pointing straight up toward the light. So we're going to start to slowly curve down here as I add more branches. I'll just try to add them here and there. I really try to make it random, which is something that's very hard to do. As a human, we tend to want to give too much order to everything. And so sometimes I'll give it a space here, maybe another space there, an area where there just wasn't many branches on that tree. Some of these branches are gonna come pointing toward us or away from us. And that's really tricky to draw with foreshortening, but it can be done. Okay, and as these branches get really long near the bottom, they curve way down, and then they start to curve up. So this tree still hasn't given up. It's going to curve up again. Okay. Just get some major branches in there. Maybe give a little more thickness to especially some of these lower branches. Right at the beginning, I have a quick taper, so it's quite a bit thicker right there at the beginning, and then it tapers pretty quickly. That quick taper. 
um, to a, a thicker branch right next to the trunk. Gives that tree a lot of strength, or that branch a lot of strength. That's just going to be a little bit. And as I add to these branches, I'm kind of giving them more, I don't know, natural lines. Kind of give them a little wobble to the lines. I want some overlapping branches here. I'm going to leave the bottom of the tree pretty empty. Okay. Okay, so this is an evergreen tree which has lost its needles. If you see an evergreen tree that drops its needles in the winter, it is a dead tree. It is no longer living because evergreen trees are supposed to keep their needles all year. Okay. But that's just how we start this. We'll add the needles here in a second. I'll give some thickness to some of these branches here and there. Okay. I'm pretty good about the beginning of my tree. Okay, maybe give a little bit more branches on one of these extra stems up here at the top. Lots of overlapping. It's going to be feeling natural. Just let it happen. It's what's supposed to happen with trees. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding the needles. So as I add the needles, um, there's something I want you to avoid as you add needles. Okay, so say this is a branch. A lot of people will add needles like this. Sound effects. Um, and it's just kind of a, a too quick, too sloppy style. And let's make it look cleaner. And so we're gonna do something similar to that actually, but just on a smaller scale. So what I want you to do is, yeah. So that same kind of motion you use to create that shape, use that same motion here, but smaller. So kind of a jagged back and forth motion. Sometimes let some of those needles just shoot out a little bit. And then every once in a while I feel like it might need an extra branch, so I'll throw one on there. Put an extra little twig sticking out there. Okay. So I'll just add needles. Um, as I go along adding needles, some of these branches, I will decide, you know what, this branch can be a dead branch. And this is something you'll probably also notice if you ever cut down your own Christmas tree is that some of the branches just are dead. Um, and in nature, almost every tree has just a few dead branches on it. And I feel like that helps it look more natural. And so those dead branches, I will take a little bit extra time really on the line quality on that branch. Just really give it some definition. These other branches I'm not as worried about because they're being covered up with needles. Here and there, I'll let some needles come out of the main trunk, but not a lot. But closer to the top, there's going to be more needles coming out of the main trunk. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to speed this up real quick and just add a bunch of needles here and a bunch of dead sticks. And we'll see what this looks like in a second. Here you go. Okay, so just finishing up a few little touches here and there. Um, as you add needles, it's going to be kind of a long process. If you really want to give it the detail that this has, you just got to be patient with it. And it's something that's going to look, feel wrong at first, the first few branches you fill up with needles eventually it starts to become a little more natural and it starts to really look good um, I'm gonna add a little bit of shading to the trunk here throughout try to make this look a little more natural um, 
just a uh, rough shading because I want to make it look like that trunk texture. Oh, there's one last dead branch. Love those dead branches. I feel like the imperfections really make these trees come to life. Ironically enough, the death, the dead part of the tree makes it come to life. Um, but that's kind of the way it works. Here it makes it look more like a real tree. Most evergreens in nature, the prettiest natural evergreens to me are a little bit beat up, a little weather worn. They've had a rough life, but really are beautiful because of it. And the scars that show a few lost battles here. A few dead branches. And you know what? I know it's not a Christmas tree, but why don't we go ahead and add just a little, well, a couple needles there left. Sorry, I gotta, gotta add those. Uh, let's just add one little touch of Christmas spirit here. I love sound effects so much. Just make a simple little Christmas ornament. Shade it like a sphere really quickly. Make a couple little reflections up there. Really push that shadow. All right, there we go. And there you have it. There's an evergreen tree for you. I use this uh, mechanical pencil because I just wanted to do that really small detail with all the needles and I knew I'd have to continually sharpen it if I used a regular wooden pencil. I usually prefer to use wooden pencils in most drawing I do, especially if I'm doing a lot of shading. But... Okay, there you have it. Good luck. Um, give it a try. If you'd like to um, draw one of these trees, you're welcome to try it out. Um, pause throughout your video and uh, I would like to see your tree if you could take a picture I'm not sure how to share but I would like to see somehow there you go